Have you ever built an amazing application on your laptop, showed it to your friends using localhost 8080, and then wondered, how do I actually get this online so anyone in the world can use it? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most crucial yet often misunderstood aspects of software development. Deployment. This is part one of our deployment series. Today, we'll break down the theory, what deployment really means, why you need a VPS, and how to choose the right hosting solution. And stick around because in the next parts, we'll get our hands dirty with a complete practical tutorial where I'll show you step by step how to set up a VPS and create a full CI CD pipeline using GitHub Actions to automatically deploy your applications. So grab your favorite beverage and let's demystify deployment together. First, let's start with the basics. What exactly is deployment? Think of it this way. You've written a beautiful novel on your computer, but if it stays on your hard drive, only you can read it. Deployment is like publishing that novel, making it available for the world to enjoy. In technical terms, deployment is the process of taking your application from your development environment, that's your laptop or your local machine, and putting it on a server that is accessible via the internet 24 seven. Now let me break down the different components. When we deploy an application, we're essentially moving our code from a local environment to a production environment, setting up all the necessary infrastructure like databases, web servers, networking, and so on and so forth. Configuring the environment so our application runs smoothly and making it accessible through a domain name instead of localhost. Now, here's something important. Deployment is not just copying files to a server. It's a complete process that includes environment configuration, security setup, performance optimization, monitoring and maintenance, and ensuring your application can handle real world traffic. Think of it like the difference between cooking dinner for yourself versus opening a restaurant. The recipe might be the same, but the scale, equipment and processes are completely different. So why can't we just run everything from our laptops? Well, Imagine if Netflix run from someone's personal computer. Every time they shut down their laptop or lost internet connection, millions of users worldwide lose access to their favorite shows. And here's why deployment is absolutely essential. First, accessibility. Your application needs to be available 24 seven from anywhere in the world. Your laptop can't provide that reliability. Second, performance. Servers are optimized for running applications continuously. They have better processors, more memory, and faster network connection than typical personal computers. Third, scalability. As your user base grows, you need infrastructure that can grow with it. You can't exactly stick more RAM in your laptop every time you get new users. Fourth, Professional credibility. No one is going to trust a business running on John Laptop 2019.local on the port 3000, for example. You need a proper domain and reliable hosting. Finally, collaboration. When deployed properly, your team can push updates, monitor performance, and maintain the application without needing access to a specific computer. Now, when it comes to deployment, you have several options, shared hosting, dedicated servers, cloud platforms, and VPS. Today, we're focusing on VPS because it hits the sweet spot for most developers and small to medium businesses. But what is a VPS? VPS stands for Virtual Private Server. Let me break this down with an analogy. Imagine a huge apartment building. Shared hosting is like renting a room in a shared apartment. You share everything with roommates. 
A dedicated server is like owning the entire building, powerful but expensive. A VPS is like having your own apartment in the building, your own space, your own resources, but a fraction of the cost of the whole building. So now let's move to the technical explanation. Technically, a VPS uses virtualization technology to divide a powerful physical server into multiple virtual servers. Each VPS runs its own operating system, has dedicated RAM and CPU resources, is completely isolated from other VPS on the same physical machine, and can be rebooted independently. This is achieved through something called hypervisor, software that creates and manages these virtual machines. It's like having a complete computer that exists in software. So why VPS is the go-to choice for many developers? First, full control. You get root access, meaning you can install any software, configure any settings. Second, it's cost effective, much cheaper than dedicated servers, but more powerful than shared hosting. Scalable, Start small and upgrade resources as you grow. Fourth, isolated environment. Other users on the same physical server can't affect your performance. And finally, customizable. Choose your operating system, configure your security, optimize for your specific needs. So now, why choosing the right provider matters. Not all VPS providers are created equal. You need one that offers reliability, good performance, excellent support, and fair pricing. After extensive research and personal experience, I want to introduce you to Hostinger. Hostinger has been in the hosting business since 2004, serving millions of customers worldwide. What sets them apart is 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee. Your application stays online. Global data centers, you can choose a location close to your users for better performance. Also, you get 24-7 customer support because deployment issues don't follow business hours. User-friendly control panel, even if you're new to server management. So as developers, we need flexibility to configure our environment, reliable performance for our applications, good documentation and support, reasonable pricing that scales with our need. Hostinger checks all those boxes, making it an excellent choice for deploying your application. So Hostinger uses KVM2 virtualization technology. That's kernel-based virtual machine version two. This is what KVM2 KVM stands for. This is important because KVM provides near native performance. This means your applications run almost as fast as on dedicated hardware. You have better resource isolation, more stability and security. And finally, full virtualization. You can run any operating system. Hostinger offers several VPS plans. Let's look at what's available. We have KVM1 plan, which is perfect for getting started. You have one CPU core, four gigabytes of RAM, and 50 gigabytes of NVMe disk space, and one terabyte bandwidth, which is great for personal projects, small applications, and learning deployment. Then we have the KVM2 plan, the sweet spot for growing applications. It comes with two virtual CPUs, eight gigabytes of RAM, 100 gb gigabyte MVM disk space and two terabytes bandwidth, which is great for small business websites, medium traffic applications, and multiple small projects. Also, we have KVM4 and higher for serious applications. It comes with four to eight CPUs, 16 to 32 gigabytes of RAM, 200 up to 400 gigabytes of MVM disk space, and four to eight terabyte bandwidth, which is great for e-commerce sites, SaaS applications, and high traffic websites. So my recommendation, start with KVM1 if you're learning, or KVM2 if you have a production application, you can always upgrade as your needs grow. That's the beauty of VPS hosting. Now that you understand the theory behind deployment and VPS, you're ready for the exciting part, actually doing it. In the next part, 
we'll sign up for Hostinger VPS and go through the initial setup. Configure our server with all necessary software. Set up a Postgres or MySQL database. Deploy a complete Spring Boot application. Configure domain name and SSL certificate. And here is the best part. Create a complete CI/CD pipeline using GitHub Actions. That means every time you push code to your repository, it will automatically deploy to your VPS. No manual work, no FTP uploads, just pure automation magic. So we'll configure everything step by step. And by the end of the next video, you'll have your application live on the internet with a professional deployment pipeline that even large companies would be proud of. So let's recap. Today, we covered what deployment really means and why it is essential. The concept of VPS and why it is perfect for most applications. How Hostinger provides reliable VPS hosting with their KVM2 technology and the different plans available and how to choose. Remember, deployment is not just about getting your code online, it's about creating a reliable, scalable foundation for your application to grow. And with the right VPS provider and proper setup, you're setting yourself up for success. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss the next parts where we will build our complete deployment pipeline. Drop a comment below what application you are planning to deploy. I'd love to hear about your projects. Until next time, keep coding, keep learning, and remember, a deployed application is worth a thousand localhost demos. See you in the next part.